all right guys what's up and i'm making this tutorial for people that requested me to make it on how to gen pokemon okay and before i get started guys please let me know if you guys hear any echoing in the mic i adjusted the settings i bought a pop filter and that goes in front of the mic so hopefully there's no echoing i don't know i might be deaf i kind of didn't hear anything but i'll let you guys be the judge on that so please please comment on the on the comment section if you hear anything aside from what questions you have to ask me so i could help out a lot and i could keep working on it <clears throat> okay so i know many of us are familiar with cerebi.net that's like the best pokemon website you want to come to where you want to look for information there's the other one bobopedia.net which i don't really like I mean, I do like how to display the event Pokemon and all that good stuff. But anyways, I use basically Cerebi.net for everything. So before we get started, I have JKSM here and Save Manager. Save Manager only works with cartridges, so XY and Sun and Moon cartridges. I tried it with other different games, even including Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire, but it does give the yellow screen or red screen. I'm not, I don't remember. But JKSM works with cartridges and digital eShop versions. So it works with basically any game. So I'll leave the links in the description on those. And they're going to go under your SD card. Once you extract them, go to your 3DS folder on your SD card from the Homebrew Starter Kit. And as you can see, I have JKSM here. And then I have Save Manager as well right here. Okay. So that's where those folders go. And that's it. Okay, okay so I'm going to be genning a Pichu here. So let's start. Before I even get started, I'll give you every detail that you need to know. So, what route could be found? What place? What city? Does it matter? What level up it goes to and what moves it could learn at that level? What TM, HM attacks it could learn? What egg moves it could learn? What Z moves it could learn? I'm not sure if it learns all these. I don't know. Transfer only moves. Transfer only moves are prior from sun and moon. So anything below sun and moon, that's the moves it could learn. It cannot learn them on this generation, unfortunately. So I'm going to be focusing on egg moves. So I'm going to select the Pichu. Make sure you hit reroll. I'm going to make it shiny. I'm gonna make it a level 10. I'll make it, I'll give it a timid nature. Oh, the item, I'll give it a master ball. Um, You could select hidden ability if you want. I'm gonna give it a lightning rod, hidden ability. Country, just put your country. And 3DS region, select the region for your 3DS. Met, very important. Since we're going to be breeding Pokemon, either Sun and Moon will work. It's up to you. I'm going to use Moon. Met location. We're going to want to select Paniola Town. I don't know what other location to breed Pokemon. Since I been, I haven't been really playing the game that much. Since I, I don't really have that time right now. Met level. We're going to put level 1 as always. Met date. Just put today's date. As an egg, make sure location says nursery helpers, date, you can put today's date. All right, tax, I mean, stats, I'm going to max out the EVs. You could set, you could set it battle ready, whatever you want. Okay. Attacks, so very important, make sure you give it a legit attack. So I'm gonna give it a bolt tackle. I'm gonna give it to I'm gonna give it this arming voice. These moves cannot be learned normally unless you beat that Pokemon. Alright, I'm gonna give it Thunder Punch, which is a cool move. I like it. I'm gonna give it fake out. As you can see, it has these exclamation marks here meaning 
warning there's something wrong with the moves not legal to that pokemon just click on relearn moves here and apply suggested relearn moves so it basically applies them for you as you can see that pokemon is now legit so this pokemon is legal for battle trainer id you could just go here click on info just double click copy paste and put whatever name you want so you can match your your trainer id sid doesn't really matter to be honest sid doesn't matter i'll just leave it like that and once again make sure that pokemon is shiny if you want it to be shiny and i and once you're done just make sure you have all the corrected info just right click set so we got a pichu all right so i'm gonna gen a eevee All right, let's go to Gen 7 Dex. All right, where are you, PK Hex? All right, so let me see what moves could I learn from egg moves. Okay. So I'm gonna select Eevee. I'll leave it at level, let's give it a level 15. You could put whatever Basically, whatever nature you want, I'll give it a jolly nature. You know what? I'll leave it as timid. Ability. Whatever ability you want to give it. I'm going to give it anticipation for hidden ability. And the good thing about this level met, if you're going to keep continuing genning Pokemon as they were to be breed, you could just leave it like this. I'm not even going to touch it. Stats, I'm just going to leave it like that. And then for egg moves, I'm going to change these moves. So I'm going to give it synchronize. COVID. Flail. And I guess stored power up. Whatever you want. So you can see. I don't really have to do nothing. Just leave the whatever. Just leave the OT as it is. And that's it. I just said it. And this Pokemon is legit, legal, ready for battle. Now, if you want to gen a Pokemon that you want to find in game, for instance, it's very important that. All right, I'm going to gen a, a Eevee from the actual game. Like if I were to caught it. Or catch it, I mean, in the, in the game. Oh, crap. So I'm going to go to EV and it's in route four. So you want to know what level EV is from. So I know EV is a level 14 when you catch it. Route four. And this Pokemon, of course, you can't give it egg moves because that Pokemon was not bred yet. So I'm going to give it Swift. Takedown. Double Edge. Last resort. I'm gonna put it at level 50. Let's give it a jolly nature. Alright. Alright. I'm gonna take away the egg. So, 
no expected relayer moves so I just click on it and that's it so this EV was supposedly caught in the wild in route route 4 or route 6 all right so I'm done here I'm just gonna go to click on file export and then export main click save done okay so with my 3ds here let me get back my SD card here and put it into my 3ds let me open up my capture card here let me exit real quick because I don't know if I'll crash I'm gonna go to JKSM So I'm gonna go to import Pokemon Moon and yes we're gonna import okay so some of you have also asked me how do we get back to the home menu without holding the power button just press start on the 3ds and this menu will pop out on the bottom of the screen reboot and then it'll give you some options just press a to proceed all right so i'm gonna go on wi-fi battle so you guys can see that these pokemon are legit and ready for battle All right, come on, come on. You know, for moon and sun, take a while to load compared to Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire X in the wild as well. All right, so let's go to my PC here. Yup, and I gen these as well. These are all legit. All legit Alolan Pokemon. Alright, so I gen this one from supposedly I caught it in the wild. So I'm gonna move over here. I'm not even sure we could use two of the same Pokemon. Alright, let, let me put it in the, back in the PC box. And I'm not even sure if we could use two of the same items in battle. Alright, so let me remove the old item. Let me remove it. Alright, so let's go online now and try it out. So the way you could tell if that Pokemon is legit and you're going to be able to use it on battle, just get another 2DS, connect both of them through Wi-Fi, and if you are able to trade that Pokemon, then you're good to go that's how i always check with since i have four 3ds's that's how i check before i even try to go on wi-fi battle okay guys sorry i had to cut off a bit because <clears throat> i had to, to do something important but anyways i'm back over here free battle I'm gonna go to single battle, special Pokemon allowed, and I'm gonna use the Pokemon I gen. So I don't think I could use two of the same. So I'm using Pichu, the one I gen as an egg, and Eevee, supposedly the one I found in the wild, 
and everything should be working perfectly. Okay, so hopefully he finds an opposing trainer real quick. Alright, so I found somebody. Okay, so if I'm able to get into the battle, then everything's successful. As you can see, everything's working perfectly. And I'm into battle. Shiny Eevee. I'm gonna swap Pichu here. Okay guys, so I'm not gonna make this video a little bit longer than this, so... <clears throat> Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, hit the like button. If you didn't, then hit the dislike button. If you wanna support this YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button. And other than that, see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.